Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine could be days away from emergency authorization by the U.S. government. Right now, that vaccine is being vaccine is being rolled out in the United Kingdom with many other nations closely watching. And as Fox's Lillian Wu tells us, two other countries are beginning their mass vaccination campaigns. The world will be watching this week as the UK begins its COVID-19 vaccine process. About 800,000 doses of vaccine from Pfizer and Germany's BioNTech are expected to be ready on Tuesday. It comes as the UK passes 61,000 deaths. People aged 80 and older already going to the hospital as outpatients, and those discharged from the hospital will be among the first to get the vaccine. This is just so exciting. It's a momentous occasion. The NHS has been planning extensively um, to, for, to deliver the largest vaccination program in our history, so it's really exciting. Governments across the world will be looking at the success and failures of the UK's vaccination plans, which will take months. In Russia, a mass vaccination process began a over the weekend, 1,000 doses of the Sputnik V vaccine will be given to medical workers and teachers. It's expected another 2,000 doses of the vaccine will be available by the end of the year. Everyone I know wants to get the vaccine. They're waiting impatiently until it's available for everyone. And in Indonesia, 1.2 million doses of a Chinese-made vaccine arrived in the country over the weekend. As it is not possible to simultaneously vaccinate all residents, I hope all parties will follow the announcement from the officer who is currently preparing vaccinations. South Korea also marking an uptick in cases, with more than 5,300 added in the last 10 days. Lillian Wu, Fox News. Doctors in southern India are scratching their heads over an unknown sickness, causing more than 200 people to show up at emergency rooms. At least one person has died. People started getting sick on Saturday. Symptoms range from nausea, anxiety to loss of consciousness. Water samples have not revealed any contamination. Hospitalized patients tested negative for COVID-19, even though the area is among the worst hit with COVID-19 in India. Almost 800,000 cases. India's op opposition minister is demanding a full investigation.